If you could have a drink with anyone in the theater world, who would it be? I'm Anthony Caparelli, and I'm running through my list. Each week, I'll sit down with cast members, bartenders, and personalities from New York's theater district and get a behind-the-scenes look at what it's like to live, work, and play on Broadway. Come have a drink with us on Broadway Bartender. Welcome to Broadway Bartender. My name is Anthony Caparelli, and we're here at New World Stages in the heart of New York's theater district, home to my show, The Imbible, A Spirited History of Drinking. And we have some really special guests on this week. Um, so special that we're going to change up the format. Normally, I open with a drink and then reveal the guest. Um, but this week, we have Rebecca Vigil and Evan Kaufman of Your Love, Our Musical, which is an improvised musical comedy, yeah? Correct. All right, awesome. So we're gonna get to that, but I figured in the spirit, I always try and do drinks that are sort of themed to the guests. Okay. So I'm gonna have uh, you guys give me some ingredients and I'm gonna improvise a drink. How about that? Oh, excellent. Very exciting. Cool? Yeah. yeah. All right, awesome. So um, I know a little bit about improv and normally like you, there are some rules like you ask for some stuff and then the improviser like does stuff, right? Yes. All right, yeah. so I'm gonna ask you guys to pick one of the spirits, and we have vodka, gin, whiskey, or tequila. Okay. okay. One of the fruit juices, lemon, mm. lime, or orange. And then whether you would like the drink served up, which is in a martini glass with no ice, or on the rocks, which is in either a rocks glass or a tall glass over ice. Ooh. Okay? So okay. one, two, three, and then I will improvise a drink. Fantastic. So what do you think? Well, this is great. Uh, I feel like this is a good opportunity for us to like really come up with some group mind here okay. to decide together. Okay. So why don't on the count of three we'll say exactly which, which alcohol one we, you want. we want. We want. Together. Yeah, together <laughs> okay, great. It'll be us All right. together. All right, ready? ready? One, one, two, three. Tequila. Whoops. <laughs> uh -huh. We went and clear. That happens. And that happens. That happens. So come want? to our unreliably good show. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, we. I want tequila. Let's do tequila. Yeah. Tequila. Okay. And then with tequila, would you like uh, lemon, lime, or orange? One, two, three. Lime. lime. Good! Oh, no, you guys are gonna make this easy. Yeah. yeah. All right, but that's okay, I can switch it up a little bit. Okay. And then do you want it up or on the rocks? Oh, wow. Yeah, I know this one. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say it? Okay. One, two, two three, three, rocks. rocks. <laughs> All right, rocks. so you guys call this Groove Mind. Yeah, oh group. no, Groove, group mind. Groove Mind. I was like, what, I've never heard of yeah. Groove Mind. Groove what is this, some sort of an better. improv term? Groove, groove Mind is in the heart. Right. Okay. Group Mind is, is in the brain. Is in the brain. It's like right. Hive Mind, but with less people. Yeah, right. yeah, There's there'll be a moment in some improv shows where uh, almost like a magical reveal, well, two people will do something at the same time, or they'll kind of enact the yeah. same thing or they'll make a move and the other person will make the same move and you're like, how do they do that? We just have like a communication with each other under yeah. the surface. Wait, so this is a real thing? Yeah. yeah, yeah, group mind. So you see it with really good improv groups and then with really bad improv groups, you'll go, oh, these people have Don't no have idea. They have no group mind. Yeah. Yeah. No way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, 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 so many questions. Uh, wait, wait, I'm making you a drink. Yeah, yeah. So, but I got to ask you though: Is yeah. there a trick behind it? I mean, like, is it because you've encountered that situation before, or is it like you're reading the cues the same? You know how you're going to respond to the cues, or you're reading yeah. each other's body language, or like, what is it? Yeah, it's a part. I think part of the the really good improvisers are good at reading the cues that are not surface level. We're good. We've been doing it so long, and especially with you have a partner with each other, we've been doing it so long that. I can. I just know the move he might make, and so we can make it together. So we'll make like the same dance move together, just out of nowhere. I'll, we'll sing a perfect harmony just out of nowhere because I just have a prediction of where he'll go. Every once in a while, our show involves kind of like setting up rhymes and finishing rhymes because we're making up the songs, and that's really the part that I think audiences are always like. That's like the shiny part yeah, for audiences. Yeah, it's so cool. The yeah, magic. they're like, yeah. ooh, wow, yeah. they really, they both said wife at the yeah. same time. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can't believe it. Rhyming life with wife? Insane. What a world. Insane. Yeah. But that's always the fun part is when we can land on a, uh, the same rhyme together yeah. or we finish a sentence or we'll start a scene and we both know, oh, I'm definitely this character. Yeah. I'm that character. And we can just kind of, oh, it's almost like skipping steps. Yeah. And my know? favorite thing for us in the show, uh, performing it, uh, my favorite thing is when I can see a rhyme that he's setting up <laughs> from like a mile away. I know he's gonna get to life and the way he's setting it up. So we're looking at each other the whole time he's setting it up and I know and then we hit it together. So you know where where you're going, for let like alone two, even how like for two lines. Sometimes. Really? Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> the other fun part of improv is watching the fall. Is yeah. watching how you handle 
uh, you know. When you think he's going to say life and correct. he says rutabaga. Exactly. Yeah. Right, yeah, okay. And then what I'll do with that mistake. Because sure. in improv, the magic is also in the mistakes, is what I can make with the mistake. The opportunity stake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and we had, so we had tequila, yeah. lime, mm -hmm. and then rocks. Yes. So obviously you're giving me the ingredients for margarita. margarita. You're handing it to me. Obviously. All right, but I'm going to I'm going to do, do a little, some fancy stuff with it. Okay, yeah. so well, first thing I'm going to do, um, because you want it on the rocks, uh, I'm I'm gonna go ahead and make this in my shaker tin. So a couple scoops of ice in the tin. Uh, I'm gonna make three of these because I'm gonna join you Ooh. if you don't mind. Not at all. Great. So I want to do um, about an ounce and a half of tequila per drink. So this is gonna be about a nine count, uh, which each count is a half That's ounce. That's the best pour I've ever gotten in New York. I think. <laughs> we don't cheat here at yeah. the uh, Broadway Bar. No. Um, and then you said lime, so I'm going to uh, use my handy dandy lime squeezer to speed things up Ooh. here. That's what that is. Uh -huh. Yeah. I yeah. So thought it was for your... I have one in my house. Oh, you've never used it? Nope. Oh. I'm going to do uh, a half a lime per drink. And the last one, this is called a hull. And if you guys can see, um, there's some beautiful oils on the top Ooh. there once you squeeze them. And I want those in the drink. Yes. So I'm going to pop that in. And I need to sweeten this up a little bit because right now I just have lime juice, which is basically acid and tequila. Um, and what I like to use when I'm um, making a margarita is honey. Mm. So I used uh, half honey and half water to just make a honey syrup. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and put about a half ounce uh, per drink. So that's an ounce and a half total in there. Do you have thoughts, honey versus agave? I always have thoughts. I want them. Would you like to hear them? I want yes. them all. Yeah. So agave, uh, agave nectar. Yeah. Believe it or not, the agave plant does not produce nectar. The agave plant produces sap, which they concentrate down to make agave nectar, the exact same way, a very similar way that they do high fructose corn syrup. Mm. So one of my favorite things is people come up to me and they say, I'd like a margarita with agave nectar because I'm avoiding high fructose corn syrup. Yeah. It actually has more fructose than high fructose corn syrup. But people don't really Always take the time. There's yeah. just no way <laughs> like, to win. There's no way to win. Yeah. Yeah, well, there is. Just stick with the basic, simple stick stuff. The natural stuff. Yeah, right. Yeah. Agave doesn't make nectar, so don't drink agave yeah. nectar. You know what does? Bees. Yes, Honey. bees. Point made. Exactly. Right. Incredible. And I, I'm, I'm joking. There's nothing wrong with agave okay. nectar. <laughs> yeah. But my We're point sponsored is. sponsored by agave. No, no, no <laughs> just know what you're drinking. Yeah. Don't order something because you saw it on television or because you saw an ad yeah. for it. You know what I mean? That's the only reason I do anything. Yeah, exactly. I know. Yeah, yeah. And I always tell people there's only two things that you can do wrong in a bar. One is, or when you're drinking rather, one is drink and drive, so don't do that, that's mm -hmm. easy. The other is drink what you don't like. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, that's harder to do, and I find most people in America drink things because either they, someone in their family drank it, they know how to pronounce it, or they saw it on TV. Yep. And uh, none of those things really work for me. Yeah. Um, okay, so we have our tequila, our lime juice, and our honey mm -hmm. syrup in here. Oh, yeah. And there's a, so a tequila, a, a margarita actually is just a variation of a sour, um, which is tequila, lime juice, and simple syrup, obviously. Um, but there's another way to kind of kick this up a little bit and, and add some orange juice, and that makes it a stone Ooh. sour. But rather than add orange juice, I happen to have some orange bitters, so I'm just going to do a couple dashes of orange bitters right on top. And so this is going to be sort of a my variation uh, of a, a margarita, and it's a stone margarita made with honey syrup. Okay, so let's see what you, why thank you so much. Yes, yes. that was excellently improvised. So let's see uh, what we think of this. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. Mm. That's pretty good, right? Absolutely. What's, what's your favorite drink face? What's, oh, after yeah. someone takes a sip, <laughs> what's, what's the, what's the uh, face that you want them to make? Is it, is it like because I have, sensual? I have a shot oh. face that I, I like that. Do. I just like, oh, like you, beaming. Oh, beaming. <laughs> and they're okay. like, this is amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, do you have a drink face? Um, I, with a lot of stuff that's good, it's all, I always go like it's painful. I don't know why. I yeah, do yeah. the like, oh, God. A lot of people do that. I know so a lot of people who drink and go, yeah. yeah. That's great. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, it's so yeah. confusing. I always like, like you to just think stepped on a those nail. people yeah. are just teeing up like their own personal catchphrase, you know, where they're like, mmm, oh. <laughs> hachi machi. You know, <laughs> right, it's like, yeah. what? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> you know? Yeah, what are you totally talking about? Yeah. But I do like the, uh, I like, I do this one because I'm, I'm not a good drinker. I love to drink, but I'm not good at it. Yeah. You know? You have to explain to me what that means. So I, in, that, in my mind, that means you have a lot of DWIs. No, 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 okay. no, no, no. No. Um, no, I'm excellent at um, uh, getting drunk. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but I'm not, like you said, it's, it's people who walk up to the bar and they're like, I'll take a Manhattan. And you're like, do you know what's in a Manhattan? And then they're like, um, pastrami on rye. Like, <laughs> yeah. they don't know. Yeah. And I, um, yeah. my wife is Irish. And uh, I am just a terrible. Dr I like everything to taste like candy. Candy. Yeah. Like if it tastes like this is a perfect for me because I'm. It I is. can taste. I can really yeah. taste the honey. He's a Moscow you know? Mule fan. Yeah. That's yeah. a great drink. It's yeah. an excellent yeah. drink. Absolutely. That's really so nice. that's my nice that's my go-to when I go up there. But sometimes you know after a show or something, people will be like, I gotta buy you a shot of Fireball, <laughs> dude, or whatever. <laughs> yeah. I don't know where that person's from, but you know where he's from. Yeah. <laughs> um, and you know, so I'll take that shot and I do one of these where I'm fine for a second, and then it hits me right there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I look okay for a moment. That, don't let it out right in the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just be honest Just right go, up top. Uh, okay. yeah. 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 Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right, so I want to talk about um, this amazing project that you guys uh, have going on. Now, for three years, right? Yeah. You just celebrated your third anniversary. year anniversary. Mm -hmm. That's, right. That's incredible. Yeah. Tell me all about your Love Our Musical. Great. Well, where to begin? He was friends with a friend of mine that I knew in California, but mm -hmm. then they went to college in Boston. I moved to New York. All this, you know, whatever, all over the nation thing. Yeah. And uh, I went to Boston from New York visiting my friend to see her in a comedy show. That's right. He was in that comedy show. And at that time, I had been looking for a male partner for this show. I had had this idea, had idea with an. Well, I had started it with another person over in okay. Los Angeles, David Magadoff, and then we moved and tried to start it separately. And uh, so I was looking for him, but I hadn't found anybody in New York that I was like, I think our sensibilities, you know, that uh, again, that under conversation, yeah. the group mind. You're looking for a collaborator, and you kind of think, could yeah. I just hang out with this person and do we them. actually vibe? In and any do real they life? make me laugh and impress me with their improv? Sure. And so I went to Boston. I saw him in the show, and I was like. That's the guy. That <laughs> just like sucks. That. Yeah. yeah, I, I don't even just, think we, we didn't, didn't meet, we that, didn't night even meet that night. Yeah, but She's I told that. Kirsten, I was like, that. I wish that guy lived in New York because that guy should be in the show with me. And then uh, a year later, I walked into another musical improv rehearsal for another show, and I walked into the rehearsal, and he was standing there. Wow. And I was like, right. oh my god. And Don't live, did he have a bow on? He had a bow on. Like the universe was like, right. here you go. I was yeah. like a, a car in a Christmas yeah. ad. A giant bow, yep. completely naked. You shouldn't have! <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, but uh, yeah, so then I approached him and he was like, uh, sure. He was kind of like saying yes to everything because he had I just had just moved, moved to New York and was desperate for friends and yeah. attention. Yeah. Uh, which is just normal for any comedian. Yeah, really. absolutely. After you live here for a while. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Always desperate for friends and attention. Yeah, absolutely. But yeah, so I was, I was excited and I think actually we got drunk one night mm -hmm. at uh, the People's Improv Theater uh -huh. and, uh, and we're just chatting about it and I was like, it sounds great, it sounds amazing. And I had done something kind of similar to it uh, in this theater in Boston, Improv Asylum, where we would talk to people out of the audience and then kind of do like a day in the life. It's kind of a popular um, improv uh, game, yeah, sort of. Yeah, take an interview and do a right. show. Right, you extrapolate it. Mm -hmm. So I was kind of used to it. So we did our first one. I don't even know if we had any rehearsals or anything. We did. We it had was one. our one rehearsal, yeah. and we I explained the show, and we did it. We had one practice run just in a room with yeah. somebody. And then we just and went we out like, and did it. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. This That's works. Right. Okay, so explain the show. Great. Okay. So basically, the show has a kind of a two-part structure, which is the first part of it is an interview segment where we call somebody up out of the audience and we uh, ask them about their relationship. So usually it's two people, and you uh, we ask them a series of questions, usually kind of similar ones, uh, because most relationship stories have kind of an arc to them. Yeah. So we talk to them about that, and then the second half. The second half, we improvise a full musical about their love story. And you know the bigger venues, like we've done the Bell House and Littlefield in New York, um, we have like a full three-piece band, and it's like full-blown musical. And our smaller shows, we have a piano player, like uh, we will have later tonight. You're over gonna, do, you're gonna yeah. do some of this. Yeah, we're gonna I do. Know, this. We there he is over there. there. It's very Henry. funny that he's sitting over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which is how most of our musicians feel. Yeah, exactly. Because the interesting thing about our show is that while 
what we're doing is difficult. What the musicians are doing is, is crazy yeah. because not only are they also improvising with us as well, they're making up all the music mm -hmm. at the time. And this is, I mean, we always get a series of like, Question. Frequently asked questions after the show. To one of which, it. yeah, one of which, it's like any great magician, right? Yeah. You go and you see the magician, and then you're like, okay, but really, like it's the magnet. Yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, right, right, right. Right. Show me the hat. Yeah, yeah. So then, uh, usually people come up and they say, well, those songs were planned. You knew you were going to sing those songs. And you fit the. Fit words into it. Right. And no, it's always up to the musician. The the music that we hear, it, you we hear it along with you. It's we're the first time the first we've time. ever heard it. So that means we have to, like, find a melody, get on, you know, key, hopefully, yep. uh, and then <laughs> uh, sync up with each other. And then while we're doing that too, figuring out lyrics, trying to land rhymes, making it funny and interesting, and also capturing whatever character it is we're portraying. And taking all of the little bits of information that they gave us over the last 20 minutes and putting it all into the music. And it sounds difficult. And a it, little bit, yeah. yeah. And um, it is. It is. It is. <laughs> yeah. it is. That's why there's only two of us. Yeah. Uh, uh, but the musicians uh, do such an amazing yeah, job. Amazing. And it is always funny because I feel like after the show, they're always like, oh, hey. Oh, yeah, you were in it too. Yeah, you know, it's right. usually someone shunted off in a corner right. who's like, I have worked for years yeah, exactly. to develop this insane skill exactly. that five people can do, and yeah. I'm sitting in the corner. Exactly. <laughs> right. While we're like, hey, 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 all right. Jokes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you mentioned you're going to do a little bit here, right? Yeah. Of the mm -hmm. thing. Okay, but before we do that, tell me about um, improv and how you both got started in improv and why you chose that as your sort of expression in theater. Ooh, great. Good one. Um, well, I have the, the, I sing and do comedy, but the thing I've done the longest is sing. Like, I've been singing for as long, far back, baby, baby with my dad. And so I then got funny. You know, as <laughs> being a nerd, you know, needing a personality. Sure. You, <laughs> you, you know. didn't really get funny. You developed a defense mechanism you Correct. carried with you yeah. for the rest of your I, life. Uh, I've, I developed a nice bag for my pain. And, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and I, I, I started doing improv, uh, but not with music. It was just straight, like, short-form comedy sports improv. Right. I started when I was, like, 14, very young. And, uh, and then I started doing musical theater because if you're a funny person who likes to sing that's kind of like the option presented to you as a teenager it's like yeah. this is what you do or you do Weird Al and you like write your own parodies which <laughs> I don't like writing obviously so, yeah, right. uh, so, yeah, uh, no. uh, so uh, I would you know be the funny parts in the musicals and everything and then I started to try to bring music into the short form and like have people come in with guitars like I was always very interested in music and comedy together in the improv setting um, because they're both so similar. They're so rhythmic and punchlines are musical and comedy is very musical and getting to express my, my musicality and my passion for music and improvising music while also doing the improv and the comedy and capturing regular human beings in a funny way was something I was super interested in. So I've been doing it for like over 10 years now and so do you find that there's sort of more of more of like sort of an instant gratification and I know when I'm doing writing and stuff it's like you you pick a subject and then you put your spin on and reflect it back to the world yes. but you have to wait a long time exactly <laughs> yeah. and there's so much time to question yourself and that's Good. for me I for improv for yeah. improv I'm like it's out there it got the laugh I will use the laugh calculate the laugh to think of what I can go and what they find funny, what this audience is like, like a liking. Mind, yeah, yeah, totally. Right. That's right. how I feel, right? right? When I'm doing it. When I'm writing, it is less satisfying to me because so much of my art is based on building upon reaction. Yeah. And in the writing, I feel very like, well, I'm just building upon my reaction and I can be an asshole to me sometimes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, that's fine. Wise <laughs> words for any writer out there. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, it's true. I, I mean, improv is like the ultimate. It's a drug, really, because you do get that instant gratification. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's like, uh, I mean, it's like a, a good drink, right? It's mm -hmm. uh, Improv is a shot where, you know, maybe sitting down to write is more like a, 
a bottle of wine. Yeah. Um, but either way, you're still drunk and poor. <laughs> um, you know, I think. Uh, I, I got into comedy um, kind of the same way. I, I was like a Weird Al kind of kid. I really like to sing. I am more of a comedian than a singer. This is always kind of the thing we kind of talk about, and this is why we compliment ourselves so lovely. I did like to write, and I started actually in stand-up. And then when I went to college, I found that I liked uh, improvisation a little bit better because it was more team oriented and group oriented so we could kind of share the laughs and I liked I liked being um, you know even though I have an enormous ego like any performer uh, I liked the feeling of setting people up and collaborating and coming off the stage and being like wow we did a great job and improv is just a little less lonely than stand-up is stand-up is kind of a lonely profession you know you go by yourself but you do get to reap all the rewards which is why right. I found a happy medium being part of a duo because it's like we can set each other up, we, it can go great. If a show goes badly, we commiserate. If it goes great, it's both of our triumphs, so it's really nice. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I did improv in Boston for a long time. I worked at this theater called Improv Asylum, which was really great. And um, then moved to New York and kind of blended it all together. And it's interesting because singing is something that I love to do, but you know, I'm not classically trained, as you'll see in a moment, and um, uh, it's been really fascinating to kind of learn more of the musicality side of it, and I think that's one of the things that's really great about our show is a lot of musical improv you see. I have a friend who has a joke about musical improv, which mm. is, um, he calls it, uh, what did the dog do? Mm. Which is, it's one person who comes out, and there's like a very kind of simple thing, and they go, what did the dog do? And then hurriedly looks around at everyone else, and then everyone else goes, yeah, what did the dog do? Yeah. What did, did the, the dog, dog do? do? What? And then yeah. it's like five, <laughs> like 35 minutes of what did the dog do, yeah, right. you know, mixed yeah. in. So I think one of the nice things, and one of the things we really try and do is continue to push ourselves to make uh, musical improv a little bit more complex, yeah. a little bit more musical. Um, Contemporary yeah. sounding. Improv, yeah. especially musical improv, can tend to sound dated. It can, you know, like, whose line is it anyway? It's very impressive, but right. it's very like, dun 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 And that's, dun, and that's dun, the know? first introduction to musical improv most people most have, people which have. is the hoedown, if you've ever seen that on Whose Lines It Anyway, yeah. which is literally bam 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 And you're like, oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We try to be like soulful. Yeah. Right. But just wait till you hear this next song. Yeah. Ba, 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 it's gonna be great. Okay, so um, how many performances uh, a week, a month, a year? What do you? How often do you guys perform? Well, it varies because we do <laughs> private stuff, um, and but we have a monthly show at this point. That people and then can we find tour. where. Well, we can go to yourlovearmusical.com. Uh, okay. Or uh, if you just Google us, you can yeah, find it. Yeah, Your Love Our Musical. Um, yeah, and we usually do our show at Union Hall mm -hmm. sometime towards the end of the month. Mm -hmm. Okay, right great. Now. Yeah. So let's uh, do a little improv thing here. <laughs> okay, let's so yeah. we get to talk to you for a little bit. Uh, yeah, okay, cool. So you're going to pretend like as if I was an audience member. Yes. Yeah. Okay, great. We'll flip the script. Now we Good. get to interview. We get to interview Good. you. That's right. How often does Hi. that happen? Hello. How Hi. Are you? Good. <laughs> uh, okay, so are you currently in a relationship? Yes. You are? Yes. What is her name? Oh, with a person? Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Not with alcohol. I was going to yeah. say. Okay. Uh, Kelly. Kelly. Yes. Kelly. Fantastic. Wonderful. And what does Kelly do for a living? She is the director of education um, at a school lunch program uh, provider, Ooh. company that provides. Um, like really good for your lunches for schools. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's an amazing program. That's an amazing yeah. job. That's fantastic. And you, other than this wonderful show and in Bible, do you do anything else for a living? I do, yes. You, I'm <laughs> I a actually, drag of all trades too. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, I run a consulting company for uh, restaurants awesome. um, and I also teach at the Institute of Culinary Education. I'm oh. the director of beverage studies. Um, so I teach people how to open and operate restaurants. That's awesome. Yeah, That's Did your Fun. audience know that? I don't know. They do now. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah, ice.edu. It's Woo! an amazing school. There okay. Go. Excellent. Okay. That's great. How did you and Kelly meet? Uh, she actually came to see the in Bible. Nice. Uh, yep. And um, and I've known her for about two years. Okay. Yeah, we were we were friends for about two years before we started dating. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. What made you start dating? What was the moment that you were? Um, you were imbibing. Yes. I'm assuming. Yeah, no, yeah, actually, so um, it just, we had known each other for two years, she's got, she's an incredible person, she's phenomenally cool, she's attractive, she's wonderful, she's smart, she's all, everything you'd ever want to date, yeah, um, and um, after about two years, we were like, hey, maybe we should see where this goes, 
And so that's does what Does she happened. feel the same way about you? Attractive, intelligent, wonderful? I can't imagine she does. <laughs> I, I, what do you but, think she would say about you that she likes about you? Oh, she's you? an angel. She would definitely say yes. Well, well, <laughs> he's, he's great, he's wonderful, he's she smart, would say all he's intelligent, yes. <laughs> he looks incredible in a hat. Yeah. yeah. That. Yeah. Right. Do you remember a moment that you... Was it after the show yeah. you both uh, talked for a little bit? She's like, wow, I've never seen the environment before. This is amazing to see you in this you new so light. Yeah, yeah, I mean, actually, I think it was a lot of the, the, the commonalities that we have between, you know, she um, is involved in food, and I teach at a culinary school, and she's involved in education, and I'm a teacher. Um, so there was just a lot of synergy in terms of common interests. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, we kind of ran in circles that weren't the same, but overlapped enough that we could, like, share stories without boring each yeah. other. Like, if I was in your world, I would be doing this all day. Oh, if I was in your world, I'd be doing this all day. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool, but I don't have time to do what you do. Right. So there was, like, a lot of that. That's good. Yeah, 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 no, yeah awesome. Yeah. That's excellent. So, yeah, so this is great. Usually when we talk to somebody, they're a stranger out of the audience, and they will give you maybe mm -hmm. one piece of information. the bar. Oh. Yeah. Good. <laughs> they were hot. What do you like about them? Yeah. They were cool. Yeah. But the great thing about our show is a lot of people, I think, think, oh, my relationship's not interesting, or how we met is boring, we met online, it's boring. And then they will say something that you're like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, what was that? You have to take that back. Yeah. Oh, nothing. I just, I was testing a knife and I accidentally stabbed myself. And then I went to her for help because she worked at the student union. And you're like, I'm sorry, you stabbed yourself? <laughs> that's a true. Yeah, that's a true right. one. Or, oh, yeah, no, our second date was at a, a porta potty convention. Yeah. What is. We met on a bus in New Zealand. I know, super boring. We and met then. BDSM speed dating. And. <laughs> yeah. It's incredible. Yeah. It's absolutely incredible. It's always amazing. There's always one detail where you're like, I'm sorry, you're just going to have to replay that yeah, back to yeah. me one time. Everybody has unique details. Yes. But they have, just like you were talking about with Kelly, they have a common overlap of, I said I love you at, you know, at a bar. Right. But it's right. what bar, how did you say it, did you even say it, did she respond? It's all the little details that make it different. Sometimes in our show, people like the couple more than they like us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be like, oh my God, Brad and Terry were great. And we're like, yeah, and what did you think we about were us? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So this is fantastic. So you just gave us all this information. Wait, okay. wait, one yeah, more yeah. question. Oh, yeah, Our favorite question oh, we ask of the couple. So you have to answer for both you and Kelly. Okay. Do you have a pet peeve with Kelly? Um, only that she's a much better person than I am. <laughs> it's a lot of pressure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh -huh. uh, what excellent answer. I can way. answer hers, yeah. though. Answer hers. Yeah, my schedule is insane. Uh, okay. We never get to see each other. Okay. Yeah. So she's got to keep up yeah. with and I, schedule. Yeah, yeah. And I don't even know if she would say that, but that, I know that's it's she crazy. She, she's too nice it, it's to nuts. say it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But she's that's absolutely... A, she's too good yeah. of a person. That's my pet peeve for her <laughs> about me. Well, you did... Like, I did say, oh, you have other jobs, and instead of listing, like, oh, I bartend, I freelance, you listed, like, I run a company, I, <laughs> I teach it. A prestigious university. I mean, excellent. Yeah. That's great. Fantastic. You ready? Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, I can't wait. We're just going to. So, this is going to be We're Anthony and Kelly? Is that what way. I'm going to see? This you, is you, Anthony you. and Kelly, the musical. Oh, love Enjoy. it. Okay. It's better than Hamilton because it's about That's you. Right. <laughs> Hi, can I buy you a drink based on my show? Oh, did you? Are you. That was, you yeah, that was you. That was me up there, yeah. <laughs> I'd recognize that hat anywhere. <laughs> So, uh, look, I, I'd love to stay, but I have to run. Wait, you just sat down. I know, but I only have about 30 seconds allotted to talk. Oh, that's OK. Yeah. I'm cool. I'm easy. I'm an angel. <laughs> you do seem fun. What do you like to do on your free time? Well, if there's one thing I know, you're very good looking. I feel like our ingredients mix in a way we might start cooking. And I don't know about you, not looking for a baby mama, but I'm looking for a woman who might work in the same field as Michelle Obama. Well, lucky you. I know a crap lot about food And I know how to teach you a thing or two I'm also rich and beautiful and have lots of free time And no one can rise to my standards But I'll let you give it a try I don't know 
But I feel like we might be a meal. I don't know how you feel, but I feel like we might be a looking for a pal and I have a very difficult and complex I can that's okay I'm easy going and if I'm upset there's no way of knowing Like this might be a meal. I don't know if you want to make a deal, but I feel like this might be a meal. And maybe tonight we can get it on. We'll mix the ingredients like blue aprons. Hey cheers. hey, cheers. That was so cool yeah. to watch. Now, right, yeah. here's the extra process about that, is yeah. now is the wonderful couple of moments where you think about all the things you could have said. said. Mm, yeah. now, you guys are doing oh, this now. Yes, yes. Yeah. In your head. Yeah. Pack it all. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a yeah. fascinating show to do. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you all love our musical. Um, you have time to make a drink real quick? Yeah, yeah. let's do it. Make a drink. Okay. okay, so who wants to do it? You guys pick. Let's do some group mind. You say it at the same time. One, two, three, three Rebecca. Me. Look at that! <laughs> well done! Okay. I'm the drinker of all Yeah, yeah, things. you can't tell somebody that the only thing you drink is Mike's hard lemonade and be like, let me get back behind that bar. <laughs> so I'm going to reveal a little bit of the secrets here um, of how to actually make drinks that consistently taste good. So I'm going to do the picking this time. Okay. But I'm going to let you into sort of what I was thinking when I did it so that okay. you guys can use this at home and our viewers can use it at home. Um, all I did was follow the template for a sour. And a sour is basically any spirit a citrus juice and a sweetener. Okay. So, and it really doesn't matter what you pick, and that's sort of the beauty of it. So, I am going to go with um, a classic whiskey sour because okay. I'm a whiskey guy. So, right. let's start with in this tin right here. Go ahead and fill that about halfway with ice, and you should have an ice scoop down there. Okay. I have a question. Yeah. It's hard for the bartender to instantly pick up the biggest spoon they can find and swirl it around menacingly. Hey. <laughs> I, I would say maybe not customary, but okay. common. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Common. Sure, Fantastic. absolutely. Okay, so now um, let's do, uh, I'm going to have you turn it straight up and down, mm -hmm. and I want you to count to nine. Okay. Because we want about an ounce and a half. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There you go. <laughs> I love it. Good job. All right, so um, now we're going to do uh, a whiskey sour, so I'm going to use lemon juice. And we have uh, somewhere back there should be my giant citrus press. Hey. Exactly. Ooh. Flat side down. Yep. Color and just go get ahead. Those yep. Oils, yep. baby. And squeeze that right over the tin. Mm. Ooh, yeah, that's nice. look at that. That's nice. You guys getting Lovely. those triceps on that? <laughs> <laughs> and you can just dump that, um, dump that one in the tin. We're gonna do two more and then there's a garbage pail over to your left that you can dump those in. So you in. actually dump it into the tin to kind of get I more do. flavor? Yeah, so what happens is most of the flavor in citrus is in the oils and the skin, yeah. not in the juice. Um, but oil, as you know, is not soluble in water. Oil and water don't mix. Well, oil and alcohol do. Mm -hmm. So if you get those oils in the tin, the whiskey will start dissolving them and pick up all those right. flavors. So it's a really nice so way to... throwing a rind in yeah, there is kind of good. Wait, don't exactly. waste it. Exactly. Yeah, no, no, she's got one in there Oh, already. just one? Yeah, beautiful. So Listen, with, Mike's hard lemonade. <laughs> so with whiskey, uh, we're going to do maple syrup as okay. a sweetener. And this is maple syrup uh, mixed half and half with water. And there should be a jigger right over there. Mm -hmm. 
all the way to the right. It's the thing that looks like a dumbbell, the this, little metal thing. Yep, thing? that's called okay. a jigger. And we're just going to do one ounce, which is the top. So fill that this? with, yep, do it right over the tin so in case you spill. There you go. Great. And then dump it right in. Maple syrup has a little stronger taste than honey. Okay. Good. So this one. Fabulous. Now, you like the spoon, yeah? Yeah. Okay, good. So take the spoon, turn it over so that you use this? the handle. Yep. Put yep. it right in, just like a, and just oh, stir use it. The handle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's yeah. the point of the spoon part? The spoon is for actually measuring and layering and scooping. Oh. But for stirring, I prefer the handle because it'll get all caught up in the ice. Lovely. Good. So now let's take uh, these martini glasses and set them up in front of you. You're doing up. Yeah, huh? we're going to do up this time. Uh -oh. Very good. Lovely. Oh, yeah. Like I've been man. listening. Like an and you have a strainer on top of that tin right here. This one? Yep. Just put that right on top of here. This? Yep. And you're going to swing it around so that this, there, put your finger now right here, here? on the other side. Here? There you go. Oh, Very yes. Nice. And just kind of divvy it up between those three. Oh, God. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, pretty nice. good and a move because you're gonna you might run out so you want to make sure four. good it's all right if there's not as eh, it doesn't much matter for me. we know i won't look at this beautiful. wow okay that's amazing yes. nicely done thank you and let's do an orange for okay. garnish so you want to take the this? um actually that side <laughs> is, doesn't taste that great you want the other <laughs> side so what you want to do is take between your uh, thumb uh -huh. and your index and middle fingers like that and you're going to pop it and what's going to happen if you watch the top when you pop it mm -hmm. see all those ooh. Ooh. ooh but do that on the drink pop do it down here yeah. so it goes oh. on the drink yeah there you go <laughs> Not right into and now mouth. you can rub that side around the drink yeah. oh, this side is bitter that. yep that's oh, fantastic man. Pop and then and pop rock. it in there Same you thing, go. you got a bunch more. You're doing so much pop and lock and you might pop. save a community right center. Oh, oh, right yeah. on the drink. Ooh. Right on the drink. Yeah, you want to actually do it yeah. like this. You so know, you want to try, so the oils I, look, go. I'm not a pro professional bartender. I would say you probably want to try not to do it right directly into your patron's eyes. <laughs> probably. Probably. It depends on, on the yeah. It's a show. It all depends on where insurance is going in exactly, this country. Exactly. So, I'm yeah. a masochist. Please, Good. missed me in the eyes. Good. <laughs> I'm sure there are bars in New York that, that want yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. That's our classic yeah. whiskey sour, incredible. but we made it with uh, maple syrup. Hey, cheers, huh? You're cheers. Incredible. Let's see how cheers. she did there. All right. Let's see how terribly oh, we did. Oh, it smells did. great. Mmm. Mmm. I almost want to attend a dinner party that you host. <sighs> oh, really? Yeah. This You're is not lovely. invited. <laughs> <laughs> well, that'll happen. That'll happen. That happens when Nicely you show up with a bunch done. of hard root beers yeah. as a gift. <laughs> Oh, that's you brought what you wine? Do. No. Oh, no, I a... brought that to your bachelor party. That's true, yeah, yeah. I brought a bunch of hard root beer. Yeah. To his bachelor party? Yeah. This is probably just killing you yeah. inside. <laughs> no, I, I love mean, hard root beer. Yeah. I, I actually like it with vanilla ice cream. Oh, sure. So smart. Yeah, it's one of my favorite float. things. Yeah, 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 yeah. Guys, thank you so much. We had such Rebecca a good time. Vigil and Evan Kaufman, you Your it. Love Our Musical, you yourloveourmusical.com. Yeah, you got it, yeah. Guys, another three years at least. Well, we you. wish you That's here at Broadway right. Bartender we, to come back and see uh, us. Yeah. Folks, thanks so much for joining us, BroadwayBartender.com. Check us out on the web. You can get recipes, recipes. I barely drank this. Recipes, we'll also have links to your website. Website. Yes. Fantastic. Drink well, drink responsibly. Drink well. Ooh, Ooh, I'm nice. Tastes like Vermont. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, it does. Really good. Nicely done. Good pour. Thank you. Love it. Well done. Thank you, guys. Thank you. So much. Wonderful. Fun. Really fun time. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, well sir. Done. Okay, pictures. Thank you so much. Sorry, I went in for the hug. Oh. I'm a little drunk. Thank you so much.